Hello, I'm Natalie Wood, the Country Arable Agronomist at Yorry Cane Island. In this webinar, I'm going to look at the benefits of using a compound fertiliser over a blend and how that equates to yield. To demonstrate the differences, we're going to look at a trial carried out using a 2755 blend versus a 2755 compound. This dotted line represents what should be delivered, which in this case is 135 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare. This is the blend data. Each point along the line represents a metre along the bout width, either way from the centre. You can see that in the blend there is a lot of variation with the lowest amount being 91 kilograms and the highest at 160 kilos of N, whereas the target rate is 135. If we look at phosphate, then the target rate here is 25, and what we see is that none of the phosphate reach that target rate, with it ranging from 10 to 19 kilograms per hectare. Now if we look at potash again, then the target rate is 25 kilograms, and we can see that this time all points were above the line with a range of 34 to 59 kilograms of potash. If we look at what this means in terms of yield in kilograms of dry mass per hectare, then we can see that the amount of variation across the bout width is quite a lot. This equates to 385 kilograms of dry mass loss, which in turn means you'd be down one and a half tonnes of silage per hectare. Yoramila compounds are evenly spread across the whole bout width, and each granule or prill contains the same nutrient analysis, therefore MPK and S would be evenly distributed across the field. So having seen the evidence presented, which would you rather use to ensure you're getting the most out of your grass crop? Quality, accuracy, then use Yoramila fertilisers. Thank you.